This is Bay Area Sports Weekly.com's Golden State Warriors Western Conference Semifinals Report. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis here at Bay Area Sports Weekly.com studios here in San Francisco. Well, the 2012 13 season campaign for the Warriors came to an abrupt end on Thursday night at the Oracle Arena out in the East Bay in Oakland as the Golden State Warriors lose to the San Antonio Spurs with an 94-82 San Antonio Spurs win as the, the for the Golden State Warriors um, um, they only shot 63 they did shot 63.2 percent there were only 33 out of 85 from the field on Thursday night um, if we look at it, um, leading the way, and uh, St Stephon Curry had a bounce back game in the disappointing defeat with 22 points. Jared Jack had 15 points. Harrison Barnes, who had got had a cut in the head, getting slammed onto the uh, floor, ended up getting nine stitches on his some stitches on his um, head, and uh, he only had nine points of the game. Leading the way for San Antonio Spurs was Tim Duncan with 19 points. And Tony Parker with 13 points. Manu Ginoli only had 5 points in the game. The Spurs shot 33 out of 73 for a great shooting percentage of 84%. Um, so with that, um, and uh, for the Golden State Warriors, uh, a season has come to an end for uh, Mark Jackson and the Warriors. And they have nothing to be ashamed about. The Warriors... Um, only making their second playoff appearance in the last since nineteen ninety four, only the second time in the last twenty years. Only just their third only just their third winning campaign since the nineteen ninety three ninety four season. So the Warriors have nothing to be ashamed about. This is the very first step and um they're gonna have some um they're gonna have some thirty five million dollars over the cap to uh, to play with and um uh, they're going to have to get another power or another shooter. And I think they can go out and go in the offseason um, to make some kind of trades to get that the, the upgrade of that position. Um, also, you know, you can look back of, uh, you know, losing David Lee. Uh, he'll be back next year. And um, Mark Jackson um, did a great job. I, I really thought he should have got some serious consider consideration for NBA Coach of the Year. So, you know, the Warriors, their season ends. Spurs, um, with the win, they win the best of seven series, four games to two. Um, they will now take on the Memphis Grizzlies in the Western Conference uh, Finals, who the Grizzlies uh, knocked off, uh, upset the the top-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder, and they end up winning that series in five games. So San Antonio Spurs will have the home court advance throughout the remainder of the Western Conference playoffs. And um, also we, we look at it, um, um, so to our congratulations to the Golden State Warriors for having a uh, successful season, which they were very, not a lot of people had them pick to go to the playoffs. And uh, this is the very first step. And, you know, as the Warriors try to build that momentum, as hopefully in four years' time, when they get the new potential new arena down in downtown San Francisco, right near the San Francisco Giants ballpark. Um, so, um, we um, also we're going to check out some other scores on uh, Thursday night in the other playoff action uh, in the Eastern Conference uh, semifinals in Game 5 of that series, that best of seven series. It was the New York Knicks staying off elimination, winning at Madison Square Garden in Game 5. They win 85-75 um, as um, Carmelo Anthony went for a game-high 28 points. Chris Copeland had 13 off the bench. The Knicks extended their season for at least one more game by beating the Pacers in the at Madison Square Garden. Raymond Felton added 12 points, 5 rebounds. J.R. Smith ended up having 13 points. He was 4 for 11 with a 4 for 11 shooting leading the the Pacers uh, uh Paul George he led the Pacers with 24 points David West 17 points and uh DJ Ag Augustine scored 12 points and um with the win the New York Knicks in a must win situation 
They stay alive for the moment, stay off elimination. Game six will be back in Indiana coming up on Saturday night at Baker's Life Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, where the Pacers, as a fact, 5-0 and during this postseason. So, Game six will be back there Saturday night. And if um, if necessary, game seven, if necessary, we'll be back at Madison Square Garden on Monday night. So uh, so the New York Knicks staying alive. And also um, another note from the NBA um, playoff, San Antonio Spurs, the trio of Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manny Ginobili, they now have 94 playoff wins. That moves them second above the trio, the L.A. Showtime Laker trio of Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Michael Cooper. So, congratulations to the Spurs. Um, the Knicks were winners tonight. They stay off elimination. Game six again will be at um, at Baker's Life Fieldhouse in Indianapolis on Saturday. And if game seven, if necessary, we'll be back at Madison Square Garden in New York on Monday night. And also in other news, finally, um, we also like to say um, the the Maloof brothers of the Sacramento Kings, they will be um, selling the team, and the Kings will be staying in Sacramento. And uh, I cannot be more happy for the people up in Sacramento because um, that's what their only pro team they got up there, and they love their Sacramento Kings. Well, um, that's going to, uh, once again, the final score, the Warriors uh, 2000. 12-13 season come to an end on Thursday night. They drop it to the San Antonio Spurs, 94-82. to Spurs win the best of seven series, four games to two. They will take on the Oklahoma City Thunder in the Western Conference Final. And the New York Knicks stay off elimination. They beat the Indiana Pacers at Madison Square Garden on Thursday night by a score of 85-75. The Pacers still lead that best of seven series, three games to two. This has been BayerSportsWeekly.com, your exclusive network. Or you continue um, with the playoff coverage of the Golden State Warriors. And for all Warriors news, um, go to Warriors.com. And for all the other NBA playoff news, please go to NBA.com. This is BayerSportsWeekly.com, your 24-hour news service, and the exclusive network of the home of the City of Champions.